Now, before we start, mm-hmm. can I just say that Ben is wearing a shirt? <laughs> Aww. I'm just wearing a shirt, period. The end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, no, which which is, is very good. Cool. I never wear a shirt. For the first time. No, <laughs> Ben is wearing a shirt that says podcast master on it. Oh, is that what it says? <laughs> yeah, you know what it says. He's reading it I upside down. Read. Yeah, so he's he's really, yeah. <laughs> ben couldn't read it in the mirror because Should we it's take like a picture a of it for the for Oh, yeah, the we'll tweeter? post it. We'll, oh, for the tweeter. We'll post ben, it. you want to okay. give us a little? Right now, we're going to take a picture yeah, while unbutton. recording. Yeah, unbutton it. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Everyone knows this is a live real. picture bow, taking. Bow, 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 yeah. bow, bow, well, it's like, not live for them. because okay, now I'm going to videotape it because oh, this yeah. is better. Wait, go back to pretending to button it. Per, oh, well, he, I, I, he do it was. And do it. <laughs> yeah, but he was. I don't have to pretend. Okay, unbutton it. No button it. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. He's like the Superman of podcasts. It's a video, so you can move. Take off your wig. Ben, take off your glasses. Who are oh, you? My god. Oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Podcast master. <laughs> podcast master. He's here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, that's your new persona now, Ben. Yep. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's what Hans Mike Cloud does. Oh. Yeah. You know. <laughs> mild podcast mild manner master. paladin by day, podcast master by night. <laughs> right so on. we reached uh, the end of arc two. Woo! We, we did, did it. We survived. Yeah. We survived. Yeah. Yeah. Barely. Um, well, barely. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't being, actually mean for it to be that. No, way. I know you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm really lucky on that one. <laughs> Edit that part out. Oh no! What? Why would I do that? I'm just joking. I, it's we always say that, and then it never actually gets. Edited. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's kind of, our, it's kind of yeah. our thing. Yeah. Whatever you're, you've done in the podcast. Oh yeah. <laughs> the second you say "edit it out," immediately means we're not. Yeah. Right. Highlight that. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we did it. We did arc two. Yes, we finished it. You guys did some cool stuff. Well, maybe we did so. heck of cool stuff. Yeah. Super cool. Acorn right up the <laughs> acorn at the bum. Mm-hmm. Right up yeah. the bum. Matt survived a death saving throw. A Barama. I did. Yeah. Survived a couple. And I, yeah, I think that's the closest you've gotten to ever dying. That's, a, that's the most <laughs> I've ever gotten hit in any almost any D&D game I've ever played. <laughs> I don't well, like to get hit. I like to stay. You're welcome. I like to stay healthy. I was like a pinball machine of life and death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you were. <laughs> yeah. I'm up, up I'm down, down. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> that's, that's kind of like a common trope for the barbarian. Yeah, well, it is what it is. I'll own it. It was fun. So... Yes. Q&A. Yes. So I'm going to be the Q&A Dungeon Master today. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to take you on a question quest. Power trip. Oh, God. A question? A question <laughs> quest. No, 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 no. no, no, no. 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 Oh, we did okay. it already. Try, no, try again. I made it up. I'm the DM. I get to make up the terms. Yeah, try again. Try again. He we, gets to have social meads. Why can't I have this? No, he does not get to have that. First of all, he does no, not get to have that. Everyone no. follows on our social meads. No. 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 Jake just likes to fit it in a spot where it won't get edited out. So that's what he I am going to. The big bad guy shows up and social meads. I'm going to lead you on a question. Quest. <laughs> we were so close again. So we've got some questions from our lovely fans. Thank you, everyone who submitted. Um, and I'm just going to go down the list and ask them in, and everybody can take turns answering or talk over the top of each other, which yeah, is probably. what yeah, we yeah, usually yeah, do. So yeah, that's yeah. how it's going to work. Okay. Have you not been on this podcast yet? Uh, I have. So the first one is from um, <laughs> M. Keen Editing Ooh. on Facebook. And he asked, how many sets of dice do each of you have? And then he put a cute little thing here. He's, he has 12 and a friend of mine call. They called him Jesus and the disciples, which is really cute. That the disciples. Awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, that's I pretty good. Like, I, I like, like that. I have no idea. What? Yes, Here's the sound adorable. of how many dice I have. It's just two. So <laughs> yeah, it's just Wait, aren't those, aren't actually those, one. Aren't those mine? Okay. No, so how many? Mine. Yours are over there. Okay. You have, so, a, you guys, have like four guys. jars. No. A lot more. That's a that. good amount. I have four jars of dice. Yeah. <laughs> four jars. It's true. You so just can't quantify anything. <laughs> There's jars over there. <laughs> there are jars over there. there That's are literally jars. what they are. It's like a jar, a quarter jar of dice. Okay. That's actually a great qualification. I mean, quantification. Depends on the size of the jar. <laughs> yeah, jars. Who knows? Yeah, like mason like jar. A ma- like a mason jar. It's not the size of the jar. It's Cookie the jar. contents. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Full of dice. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> okay, so Jake has a lot. I have a lot. Jake but mainly has... I use my metal dice because they're awesome. Mm-hmm. And then I use Your psychedelic dice too. Yeah, my psychedelic dice because I bought them for uh, a bard that I never got to play. So that was fun. So you have specific sets you would have. You got to play a bard. Uh, but not the bard that I wanted it for. It was the one that we, it was, it, it, was, <laughs> it was a throwaway it was, bard. Yeah, it was my throwaway bard. Um, it was your test bard. <laughs> yeah, my test my bard. My burner yeah. bard. <laughs> burner, yeah, burner, burner, burner bard. <laughs> yeah, burner every bard. time I have Everybody's a character a that I make, bard. I have to go out and buy a new set of dice. Which is all the time. So I have a lot of dice. Okay. But I never play. So, so you're, ben. you're a dragon. Yeah. I'm a dice yeah. lord. I'm a goblin. Ben, how many sets do you have? 
one. <laughs> the most they, efficient answer. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I honestly, I, you know, I bought one set of dice when I first started playing and I, I since then have actually bought more dice, but I never opened them because uh um, they're mint condition don't touch them <laughs> <laughs> uh no because i i kind of thought like maybe i'll 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 have a certain set of dice for certain characters but then i also figured like i could just we could do, use them for giveaways or i don't know I have, I have some dice at home but i i have yet to open them so i and i haven't decided if i'm going to use them or if i'm going to uh have them as part of a giveaway so i don't feel like i own them I yet feel like you yeah. should leave them on standby yeah. just in case your d20 like fails you how can you know I mean? de- how can it fail that's well, like a death yeah. saving throw that kills you yeah you those, don't have a dice jail well, that, everyone has a dice dice jail. jail for sure i don't know i don't have dice jail well you have a trusty set and it's never yep. failed you no it's definitely failed me i just often hey i i believe in working things out rather than just abandoning them <laughs> <laughs> oh i have i i throw oh, those to the wayside ben yeah. believes in first second third fourth fifth chances got it and okay. then some Matt? Yeah, I just have one okay. as well. Just one. Dude. Yeah. You have a cute little container for your I do. Though. I have, have this like little, little treasure chest. Here, let me take a picture. That I got. A oh, another, another picture. Mm-hmm. Here, I'll yep, try to gonna... make it. I'll try to make it. These, and Christy, stop saying live because they're not They're not live. It pictures. is live because li- I'm videotaping it. Yeah, but. The, Jake, we are currently live. <laughs> we are, but not. No, we're not. <laughs> this, that's not how this works. It's live. We've, we've discussed this. It's live for us. Well. I hope so, or else we're all we are, dead. We are in the moment. Okay, so you have a cute little treasure chest. I have a cute little treasure chest that holds my dice, uh, mm-hmm. and they're great. They they have never failed me because I roll like this. That's a two. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's right. well, two. <laughs> well done. Right. Maybe I wanted to fail that roll though, yeah. right? Maybe I am just waiting. Yeah, for me how many times to- it's failed you. Is, right, and you want a low number. Yeah, right. it's like golf. Absolutely, it, it, my dice is hilarious. It has a sense of humor, <laughs> obviously. Of humor. Just yeah. like That's why you. I love it so much. Just like me. <laughs> okay. What was that, Ben? No, Ben was trying to say something. I'm just waiting for you to fail a, ste- a stealth check. It's never gonna happen. I, I it, it needs to. Statistically speaking, with how often you stealth and the statistical probability just, of rolling, we could over. just help him fail. Like he rolls really good, and then we just like throw a rock over in his area. And I'd, then catch like, I'd catch it. I'd catch it. He'd catch it right up. Like he's okay. he's at catch least it. stealth twenty times. So mathematically, he should at least crit fail it once. Yeah, my cloak helps with that though. But yeah. if you crit fail it, you fail. I mean, that's not no, true. not on a check. No, no, not, that's not true. Check. But that is how we play. Sometimes. Anywho. Mm, anyways, anyway, Christy, how many dice do you have? Um, I have three. So I have my original pink set that I love very much, but it got me in a lot of trouble. So it is in dice jail mm. and has remained there since. And I have this lovely purple set that I use now. And then for Christmas, my sister got me um, a set of tiny dice. And they're so <laughs> cute and itty bitty. And I played them and they were really fun because they're so cute and little. They so I have really three. Well too. And they rolled really well. Yeah. Did so really. I have three. Joe. I too have three. I have uh, one for each character. Um, you have three sets? Yeah. Oh, nice. Because I also have a miniature set. Shout out Sweeks. Yes. For Christmas. Sweeks. Okay. <laughs> Sweeks. Uh, that are super <laughs> fun to play with. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I have my ones I use for Beardrum, which are like a little blue, white, kind of boulderish looking. Of course. Because rocks. And then uh, for rocks. other character we did, which we never really continued that campaign. No, but uh, I want to. Yeah. yeah, I have some like metal gold dice that I keep in a dragon head. Brian? Uh, I have two main sets and then sort of an, an amalgamation of my jarge of aforementioned dice. <laughs> jarge. Jarge. Jards. Jards. Uh, oh, you thought you said jarge. Well, he did. I, yeah, I kind of <laughs> messed that up. Um, hey, so the, the jars of dice, I actually got at a tabletop convention, a Gen Con in Chicago circa 2000. One? Oh, damn. Ish. Wait, what? Yeah, I've had those dice for years. Uh. You went to a tabletop convention almost 18 years ago, yeah. and I, I screwed up tabletop. You sure did. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I Everyone, let, Matt, Matt let it go. I thought I was, didn't trust Matt. Didn't, I, I, he made, made a head whip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, I better I better say something before he's... Oh, you misspoke? We are going to address that. <laughs> well, I was I He was physically responded. <laughs> yeah. But no, you went to a tabletop convention 18 years ago or 19 years ago? Whip. Before you even started playing... Well, I was like, I, he was always my friends a nerd. and I were always kind of like playing D&D, you know, kind of off and on serious, just kind of dicking around. Whatnot. Here's the thing. So when the, we, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no I, you interrupted her. Uh, right, so, oh, yeah. This is a yeah. wonderful. They, they definitely yeah, I'm not telling my story, here. but please. Hey, you said like Gen Kong or something weird like that a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, and anyway, Gen so Kong. the amount of dice. So there was literally like a barrel full of dice that you pay 10 bucks and they give you a bucket and you scoop out as many as you want in a bucket for 10 bucks, and that's how I got jars and that's jars insane. of dice. That's awesome. I was just going to say that when we started 
dating. No, mm-hmm. when we moved in together, mm-hmm. we were moving all of our stuff and you had like boxes. And so I'm like going through and I'm like, okay, we'll put the pictures over here. We'll put this over here. And I opened this box up and it's just piles and piles of dice. And I was like, what is and magic this? Cards probably and too. magic cards. Yep. And I was like, you, my nerd box. you nerd. He was hiding it from me. I'd never known about it. He never and mentioned it. It wasn't in a it. box. It was in a bag. It was like finding a secret was, porn stash, but it was, was a secret say, nerd like, stash. <laughs> that's not the worst thing you can find. Like yeah, if you just exactly. open a box of just like, just like so many dildos and you're like, okay, oh, we're just going <laughs> to put this away. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if those no. conventions still do that, but yeah. yeah. The dildo the convention? I felt like I hit the yeah. <laughs> 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 convention. Fill this bucket. Scoop up, up all your dildos. I want to try to make, I try to make bucks, it fine. As many as you can carry so, like, in your little box. You box and they fall on you. You have to catch them. You know, like dollar bills. Like, in your mouth. Thing. Oh, a money machine, but a dildo machine. Yeah, but yeah. a dildo machine. Yeah. <laughs> Smacking you in the face, <laughs> spitting you in the face, and shit. Sounds terrifying. Hell yeah. Okay, well, so I'm that's gonna try that to one. make or find a twenty sided dildo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you let me know if you do. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna roll. I probably have a few customers back, back for back you. Then. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you don't like the roll, you just activate the vibrator. Just kind of get yeah, tilted. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Okay. So it's like let's... the luck feet. Wow, that was a long answer. Yeah, Move wow. on. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Got to go to the worth. So yeah. So thank yeah. you, um, M. Key, and editing for that. Yeah, thank one. you, um, Jesse Birch. Can we just the, the Birch Master give the Jesse Birch a big old Birchmeister? round of applause? Birch Meister sounds better. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> why are we giving a round of applause? I'm in charge. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks, okay. Jesse. Jesse's cool. great, um, and he's an awesome, awesome fan. Yeah, didn't um, he send us like ten questions? He sent us eight. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, but sorry. yeah, get it but right. But they're Ryan. really you good, you know, Jesse. quality versus quantity. Okay, so that's still a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So his first question is, uh, where did the intro and outro music come from? I made it. That sound makes me. <laughs> I, was, I was literally just going to do that too. I was literally just going to do that too. <laughs> I made it, Ben Cheney. I do all the music. Anyway, he said I'm very that- talented. <laughs> That sound, ma- <laughs> <laughs> that sound makes me excited. Now, you know what's really funny is mm-hmm. you're getting frustrated every time someone introduce, uh, introduces, interrupts you. Mm-hmm. How do you think Jake feels every single episode? Oh, but, you know, that's record? the point of it. No, I know, but you're getting like... <laughs> yeah, that's why I couldn't DM, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> well, that for a, and a lot of other reasons. I would kill, I would kill all of your characters yeah, yeah, immediately you just so hey, I could get a word in. Do two different voices. Do one. Okay, this is one. Do another one. Okay, this is okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not, perfect. that's not, not bad. That's terrible. horrible. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you want to talk about? Yeah, that's actually answer the question. Uh, yeah, it's it came from. Uh, I create everything with multiple programs, depending because I I just kind of use free versions of everything uh, because I I'm cheap and I'm poor. And I don't. I, I want to use the really expensive. Just got sad now. Programs. Well, I'm just saying. Hey guys, give me some money. Give me some money. Yeah. Give me some money. No, I use uh, a couple free programs. The one I made uh, that theme song on is called Band Lab, uh, which is pretty cool. You can do some interesting stuff with it. And uh, I just kind of piece it together. I did the piano parts first, and then that I assume he probably means the din 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 part, which is the main melody. Uh, what I think it's a honky tonk piano. <laughs> I think it's exactly <laughs> is what it is. Is it really? That's I great. think it is. Then I put um, an effect on to kind of give it that like chorus flanger effect, mm-hmm. uh, which I thought it was a really cool sound and it kind of cut through everything else. So I left it at that and it was it was born. It was, it was born, born onto the world. Yes. It, make, it makes me excited too. Cool. Um, I don't think we ever talked about like you do have a background in music. So like that's Matt does all the music in case. I think we, no, I we, think we did it talk about time. it. But uh, no did idea. we talk about that like you I asked him what type of music he liked. To He's do. a yes. music man. Music man. So he makes music man. He music, music man. Music yeah. man. Okay. That's how it came. That's how it came to be. A good old honky tonk piano. I love that so much. <laughs> um, okay. So his next question is Jake. Who is your favorite NPC to play and why? Oh man! Wait, there's a second part. Are oh, you God. ready? Okay. And if it's not Bob, why isn't it Bob? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Bob Jesse, or Robert? Yes. Great question. Uh, Bob was fun. Bob was really fun just because I got to mess with Matt the whole the whole fight. Um, the only reason why it wouldn't be is because Bob's dead. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't get to really play him anymore. Hey, true resurrection. Um, so I had to say Sven is probably one of my more. I spent. S- these guys don't know. I spent weeks practicing his voice. I would walk oh, around my house, us. and <laughs> I was so try- I was trying so hard to go for a Swedish accent. It definitely just turned into like a weird it's German own thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just melded, which how all of my accents go. If you ever if you ever hear me try to do a British accent, somehow it becomes Australian and New Zealand, and then Cockney at the end of it, and then they all just meld into one weird voice. Um, which could very well be in this world. It's unique. Yeah, yeah. it's Eventually. your unique yeah. voice. Yeah. Um, it should be something. But yeah, no, I, I, 
I really like playing Sven just because he's just so he's just he's just a very weird uh, character to play, and I love I love wonky characters that are just out there. Um, and I think I I don't really know if I I like uh. Yeah, I think it's, I think Sven's probably my favorite. Yeah, it's I think not, he's like the main NPC we have. I would say I, I was yeah. I was I was debating between you saying you know Sven or Robert. I actually believe that you spent that much time practicing Sven's voice because I was recently listening to some of the episodes and Sven would have to say certain words that I in my head was like, how does he know the accent for this? Oh, I, I YouTubed it. I sat there for hours on a YouTube <laughs> video oh, watching Jamie. it over and over trying to figure out how to say the O's that you're sort of like Ooh, cool. Like I t- it took me so long to figure out how to yeah. do this. Like I sat there and did research on Swedish accents and how, like pronunciations of I them love it. Yeah, to try to get like horrible. as close as I could. I'm sure I butcher the shit out of it still. Of course, but, well, sure, but yeah. like that's the fun of but, it. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not a paid actor now. If you guys start pay me, you yeah, know, I'll spend a little bit more time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I had a language then. app because my my grandparents on my mom's side are from Norway. So I had this app that I was like I had this just wild hair at my ass that I was going to learn some Norwegian. And that is just the craziest damn moon language I have <laughs> ever heard. Moon language. Thank no, you all like, Norwegian fans. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. chef. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. That was great. That's not what I expected you to say. So I like that. What did you expect him to say? I thought he was going to say Robert. Robert was fun. Yeah. I, I, I really do enjoy Robert. But as far as like the time, like the time I put into it, like yeah. Robert's just, <laughs> you know, just a dumb. Yeah, no, it definitely <laughs> makes sense now, but, but, but uh, yeah, no, Sven was, Sven was a lot of fun. I like it. Okay. Next one from Jesse is what was the original name you wanted the podcast uh, that was taken? That Fantasy you friends. It yeah. wasn't taken though. It Christy was, said it was, taken. it was taken. I've, I looked it up though. The wow, handles saying, were all taken. Were they? Okay. Yeah. Like, no, the podcast didn't, wasn't gotcha, called gotcha, that, gotcha. but every handle was taken of that. Yeah. And, and, I, well, and, and honestly, I didn't like the name. I didn't. Yeah. No one really cares yeah. about you, Ben, though. Yeah. So it was, I really liked that name. It was eventually, it was, it was first going to be fantasy. That was wor- the working title. Yeah. yeah. The working well, title was fantasy friends. Fantasy Cause, friends. Cause we're friends and we are in a fantasy world. No, I so feel like we we've thought, settled into new crits. For oh yeah. Sure. No, I, think, like, I think we definitely, we sat there for, I think a, a, a while sending different messages back of just yeah, like, we workshopped a things. lot. of <laughs> Yeah, we really did. Yeah. I wish we t- like took a screenshot oh, of yeah. how Let's many, put it this way through trying to pick like a baby name. Easy. Only two people try doing it with six. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> But I think there's so many videos. But yeah, that was our. Oh yeah, this fits so much better. Yes, agreed. Sorry, my mic is falling a little bit. Okay. Um, the next one is, uh, what podcasts do you did you or do you currently listen to about D and D? So let's go around and do that because I think everybody kind of has a different schmattering of it. So Jake, do you want to start? Uh, yeah, I listened to um the first one I like that really got me into D and D was Adventure Zone. I listened to the first episode like way long ago, like uh, I can't even remember what year, but I listened to it. I was like, ah, this is shit. And then I heard a couple people, a couple other people talking about it. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll give it another chance. And I got, th- I, f- I actually finished the first arc and I'm like, oh my God, I, I love this. This is everything I've ever want. And then I started listening to more and more, but the main ones I listened to are Adventure Zone and then um, not another D&D podcast. I really tried to get into Critical Role's podcast version but it, it's it's just really long and i can't i just can't keep up with it um and it's a little too serious for my liking uh, obviously if you haven't noticed in our podcast yeah. that we are very comedic um so not another dmd podcast is super fun i love those guys um that's my that's my main two. Oh, and uh magic quest boys actually i've been listening to a lot lately uh they're pretty funny great ben uh I actually hadn't really listened to any podcasts uh, for D&D uh, prior to starting this. Um, and so I started actually listening to podcasts uh, uh, shortly after we started recording uh, just for inspiration to kind of get an idea of, of what was out there, um, how I could better myself or, or not copy other people. Um, and uh, so I started listening to, to The Adventure Zone uh, and I've, I've only managed to make it through arc one just for time's sake. Um, and uh, I won't, you know, in, in the very beginning, I was like, oh, well, this is just Lost Mine of uh, Fandalen. So meh or Fandalen, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, I was like, meh. meh, meh. And then uh, I, I, it was like you just said, once you get to the end of arc one, you're like, sweet. Yeah. This is pretty mm-hmm. sweet. Um, and unfortunately, that's only as far as I've gotten for, for, for because of time constraints. So 
I'm looking forward to continuing that. I haven't started anything else. Uh, and I'm going to actually use this sec, this opportunity right now to listen to what everyone else listens to, to help. So take notes. That's yeah. right. <laughs> okay. Matt? Uh, I just listened to the Adventure Zone. That's the only one That's I listen to. Okay. Yeah. It's the only one that kind of I enjoy. Uh, yeah. Some of the other ones are just, and to me, when I see a backlog of so many episodes and something, Dude, it's intimidating. I just can't, I can't do it. Nope. I can't do it. Yeah. Adventure Zone was the only one I really did. Um, Christy was actually the one who, who suggested it. And I heard about it from a lot of other people. So I listened to it. I fell in love with it. I still listen as episodes come out now. Um, as far as for D and D goes, that's the only one I listen to. Yeah. I'm glad I got into Adventure Zone before there was a big backlog. And same thing with not a, like now I'm only like 10 episodes behind, but now not another D and D podcast is like at 85 episodes. And after like the 20th episode, they start becoming two hour episodes, <laughs> which for what they do is really great. Cause they do have really like grand scheme combat fights and stuff like that, which are really amazing. But like if looking back, if I saw that backlog of episodes and it wasn't only like 20 episodes when I started, I'd be like, Meh. Like Critical Role, I'm sorry, 165 episodes, I think is the and first their campaign. And their episodes are like three hours they're long. They're three hours, oh. and then sometimes they're just shopping. And I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. And they do it really well. Like, they're um, they're all very amazing at what they do. But I, I, I don't even like listening to myself shop <laughs> or doing it in real life. <laughs> Um, okay, my list. Oh, <laughs> oh God. She pulled out a Can you just get like your top three? Yes, but I just don't, I wanted to you shout out. You don't even know what they are? I want to make sure I get the shout outs, okay? Oh, my God. Gee, so I listened to Adventure Zone, obviously. I'm the one who made everybody else listen no, to I it. No, I didn't. I listened to it first. Mm, well, you never said anything. So anyway, I listened to Adventure Zone. <laughs> I listened to Not Another D&D Podcast. Um, and I have a bunch of other ones that I haven't started yet, but I'm excited about starting them. I haven't started them. So you haven't I have listened to them yet, which no, is what the question was. But I'm getting there. But the other Perfect. one that I really like that's not an actual play, but it's uh, D&D related is Investigation Check. It's really interesting. Oh, yeah, it talks those, about those cool. like different topics. The one that they just did was about um, like... D and D in the eighties when it was like demonized and like the that whole panic. history about that was just really cool. So I definitely like listening to them. That they're like once a month, I think. Is, yeah, they're once a month. They're, so I have to wait a long time for another episode. But they really are great when they do. Yeah, they do. They definitely out, do so. their their due diligence and research behind it. Yeah, it's really fun. So I have so like wait, a bunch of other someone, ones someone that I want to listen to. Like, hmm? no, no, it's fine. Go ahead. I was just I was just gonna say I thought we were summoning a demon. Yeah, we are. Oh, cool. oh yeah, eventually. Okay. We just haven't gotten there yet. Really we gotta bad. get to level ten. Yeah, we're, okay. we're, yeah. It's probably gonna take us at least sixty episodes before the demon's gonna come out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tight. Yeah, so that's what I'm listening to. Yeah, right. right. Now. Joe? Uh I am currently starting Adventure Zone and also Jake recommended not another D D podcast. So those are the two that I'm listening to, but I don't really have a lot of episodes under my belt. Um There's a lot. Because I yeah, because I didn't really start listening until after we started recording as well, kinda like Ben. So um but I do really enjoy them. I, mm-hmm. it, I think it's very entertaining. And like Ben said, it's it's uh, nice to hear other characters that are kind of in the similar spot that I'm in um, to kind of get some inspiration and see how other others do it. Yes. Brian? Yeah, sorry for the, the boring answer, but you know, Taz, the Adventure Zone is really the only one I listen to. I think I, I think I tried to listen to not another D&D podcast for like five minutes. <laughs> well, no, I, it was just like, it just rolled into an episode of that because I had it downloaded, oh, and then I, I and then never picked it back up. Yeah. So you know, at, at some point, I need to finish Taz because I feel like I need to finish that before I start another one, or I won't finish Taz. And I'm like maybe seventy five percent of the way through Taz. So yeah, yeah it's a good so one. you heard Balance it here. Just good. go listen to Taz. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you're listening to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I think that, listen, well, no, well, well, listen, listen to us first, first. then listen yes. to l- l- them. Listen, they come out every other Thursday. Yeah, in the meantime. In the meantime, you listen yes. to us. Well, I think Not Another and Taz are like the most adjacent, like it, the storytelling and the co- comedy and like the, yeah, the way that the they podcast, play the game yeah. is very similar, which is why I think we all enjoy them as much as we do. Yeah. So that's what we like. But if you have recommendations of other ones, please send our way because yeah, I'm always wa- wanting more. You- okay, ready? Here's the next question. <laughs> Now she's a robot. Great, great. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what inspired? This is also from Jesse. What inspired each of your characters? Do you see a lot of them, uh, a lot of yourselves in them? So I think we kind of yeah, touched was, on this yeah, before. That was, that was the whole point of the characters we chose. Was we kind of wanted to make it easy to fall into the character, so we wanted similar. Yeah, we basically said like make an exaggerated version of yourself. Exactly. What would yeah. that look like? Yeah, we and are that's... caricatures of how we see ourselves in real life, and I think yes. we're all pretty accurate. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. with how we play. I can definitely say that. Except for Jake, because he thinks he can control ourselves in a yeah. fantasy world. <laughs> yes. Not in real life. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so that's that one. Um, did Leaf forget about Milo? Yes. <laughs> Short answer. Yes. Every, did, literally every episode she forgets Does he about turn him. into a bear with her or if, or is he with her when she transforms? I don't know about that. What are the mechanics of Milo? Does he like- Milo's just a cat that holds on to you and when you transform, he just holds on for dear life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he's just like stuck to you. He doesn't yeah. like go in a Pokeball or something like that, like more compact. If you, if you want, well, he, he had a cage for a little bit, but then you let him out of his cage. Well, I, I'm the size of the cage. Like that that's, yeah. that's like, <laughs> does Sven have something like that that maybe I could put him in this little- I don't know. Maybe something maybe Sven. super cool. Something super cool. Something cool. Oh, super cool. might have something super yes. cool. But yes, I forget about Milo every time until we do a Q&A episode and someone reminds me me that I have Milo. So he I'm comes gonna, with his own So you will hear about Milo at the next arc. This, yep. uh, this next episode <laughs> will definitely have Milo. <laughs> no. be Milo heavy. Anyway, um, the next one is, uh, are you in any of you involved in other D&D campaigns? Yep. <laughs> we all look at Jake. Yeah, I, oh, I DM yeah. Oh, ho- like oh, yeah, two right. home games okay, yeah. and then uh, whenever I get a chance to play any game, Pretty much any time I get someone says, "Hey, do you want to play D and D?" I'm already I already have my dice in hand and a character made, um, and I'm ready to go. And then the yeah, other people, Chris, the Christy well, and I, yeah, we're in. You go ahead. You do it. No, oh I God. started in you, you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Okay, we're in a uh, stream on Twitch called How We Roll, mm-hmm. and live stream. Uh, it's a live stream. It's a D and D three point five this for this campaign. Mm-hmm. And uh, we should we should probably like promote that a little more. Yeah, we should about yeah. how we're on there. Yeah, because people would if you want to see Matt and I play live and like be on chat and talk to us and like see us do Matt, cool shit. Matt and, Matt and me, but that's fine. Oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see us do cool shit. Then we play very different characters on that. Yes, so you want to give a little taste of uh, Cyrano? Do I have to? See just a little intro of him. Like, give I'm me trying a little... to save my voice. Well, just give me a little bit. <laughs> okay, no, he he's uh, he's very high. Hi. Hi, I'm Cyrano de Yam. He introduces himself to every person he comes across. Cyrano de Yam, hi. Hello? Shake my hand, please. Shake my hand, please. Thank you. <laughs> so that's Cyrano de Yam. Mm-hmm. And what is he? He's a rogue. He's a rogue. He's a rogue, yeah. yeah. So he's fun. Little roguey boy. Um, I play Britannica, and she is a seven foot tall human fighter who just kills everything with an axe really so if you'd like to see me actually do damage to an enemy that's the place to do it yep for sure yeah. and on her I, team yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, not, and not my team I haven't hit a single player in that one that's true <laughs> so far very good yes uh, so yeah so you can check us out on there we play on Mondays at 5.30 Pacific, well, Standard, Pacific Standard Time, time so yes. heavy on the ish yes heavy on the ish um, no. very heavy on the ish and then we play like family games every once in a while so like Joe Jake and I will play with like our other siblings we'll do little yeah. campaigns little one offs um, little one offs here and there um, we started one with Matt for Curse of Strahd Curse of Strahd which I really want to finish um, yeah so we just do little random ones like that Joe uh, no I'm not on, yeah I don't except know. I don't for think. the ones we make <laughs> yeah the ones make that play. I'm recorded on here yes we have rick flaricus yeah oh well i thought it was just who who's on other things it was the characters any other campaigns you're playing like just oh yeah just yeah. just the other one um and then there was uh rick tavius grimes on a one oh, yes. that i had as well we did have that one I'm that's really our sibling campaign like the like the rick names um yes which obviously i'm sure everybody knows who rick grimes is so but yeah that's uh those are my characters um i don't think i had any other characters yeah that's it those are all yeah brian yeah my only other one is matt's uh campaign my uh my guy stan helsing <laughs> <laughs> yes i love him yeah. little the uh unknown brother of van helsing <laughs> <laughs> you did a weird thing with his voice the last time we played him just because i was really into uh doing the don knots uh <laughs> <laughs> voice. Over. that was fun i just wanted to carry that over and practice okay. that because that was fun Get those questions. Good. Um, I love how you what? guys just skip me because you know I didn't have. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought I asked you. No, no. Oh, but well, you don't Matt, know. But I don't. So no. he doesn't. Yeah, know. I don't. That's why I was interrupting because when we went from Jake, then you started talking, and I was we skipped Ben. Ben, do you have any other ones you're playing? No, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I'm very busy, but I would love to when I have more time. Okay, uh, what is Bear Drum's favorite drink? Ooh, uh, Beer Drum's favorite drink? Yes. What was it? Uh, the Trolls Piss? Trolls no, it was no, the no, Moscow, no, the Mo- Moscow oh, Slut. No, no, no. Oh, no. Siberian, oh, Siberian, Siberian Slut. slut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. a Siberian Slut. It's kind of his guilty pleasure because it's got a little... <laughs> Isn't it everyone's? <laughs> it's a little frou-frou, you know, kind of got some juice in there and we're stuff like that. We're going to have to make but... those for real. I think oh, we need to get a recipe uh, and do that. Whenever he's around his boys, though, it's definitely Trolls Piss because he doesn't want to get made fun of. Yeah, yeah. 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 for, for sure. sure. He could always go for a Siberian Slut. Always. For sure. He sneaks off to the side. A little robe next to a fireplace. Snuggle up with my Siberian Slut. 
<laughs> not, not an actual one. But... Uh, wife who's not listening, but just yeah, in case she, she is. is. <laughs> this would be the one time she would right? listen. Right? Like, Excuse me, what did you Excuse say? Excuse me, who? <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's a poor representation of my wife. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're just, uh, so just digging this hole <laughs> deeper, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> just in case she is listening, that's not an impression of you, honey. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jesse, again for all those awesome uh, questions. Jesse's Jesse. a man. Those are yeah, really great. Jesse. Um, then we have Emerald Hellion. Woo! Yay! We, oh, said, yeah, it right. Yay. we said it right. We absolutely we know that it. now. Um, so this is a good question. She asked, for those who have kiddos, how do you plan the fa- around the fact that you have kids when a session is five to eight hours long? First of all, it's not that long. Um, yeah. 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 Eight yeah. hours? Think about it. We get here yeah. at 10 and we li- don't leave until five. Um, I mean, five, sometimes, seven. Sometimes Slave drivers. Um, and like <laughs> once a month. Jake said something about it. but What was that? I'm sorry. Yeah, she wanted to just know like how do we how do we plan it around kids? So um, Ben, how only do you, three people can really answer that. Right yeah, now. so Ben has a kid. So how do you plan it around that, Ben? Sedatives. Oh. <laughs> Benadryl. Yeah. Oh, I, hey, I, so, I cast sleep. I cast um, sleep. No, uh, obviously I don't drug my children to play D Shout out CPS. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Someone please. <laughs> um, no, we 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 are only able to get together like once a month because we do have to coordinate all of our schedules. And, uh, I usually have my, uh, my daughter stay with uh, the grandparents, uh, for the day because it would, ju- it would be impossible to record around her. She is my wonderful, loving, just dis- wave of destruction. Like she just, <laughs> she would be destroying everything or screaming, ripping things apart. It would be impossible to just not only play, but to record. Um, so I love her and she can not be present when we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> So we record at our house, Brian and I, because we have our son, Oliver, who this is his favorite day because he gets to spend five to eight hours <laughs> on an iPad straight. Eating um, anything he wants, he drinking gets, anything he wants as long as he's quiet. He gets chips and milk, his favorite things. He gets left alone and no one bothers him yeah. and he gets to play in his room. So it works out best to do it here because of that, because otherwise we would have a lot more pauses than we already do because of him. So yeah, it, we the nice thing about not doing it live is that we can pause every time we get an interruption. And it's usually, actually, it's usually the dog than it is Ollie, but he does pretty well. He likes to be left alone. So it works out. That's that one. Okay. So. Yeah, I don't have kids. Yep. No yeah. Kids no. no kids well, that you know of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I have uh, there are a few sperm donations. So. Okay. This one's sperm Matt. Youngins. Um, oh, I guess it's not really a question. It's just a funny thing that she said. She said, your bow should secretly be named Big Daddy in honor of honor of your absolute funniest rocky talky test run <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> which i thought was really cute I mean, was, that from, was that from emerald that was, yeah that's, uh, that's this good. is all emerald nice. um okay. it is a big it is a longbow i mean yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a big daddy it is a big daddy um, its name, though. should i call nope. my warhammer rubber ducky then you can I call like it the idea you of you I hitting like something too. with it and making the squeaky mallet noise. Squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute, actually. You just have a rubber ducky tied to the end of it <laughs> yes i love that um, she also asks, how was the cyborg robot voice done in the episode? Oh, for, for Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Uh, essentially, it's just uh, a couple effects that you put um, on Jake's voice. I would just splice out the parts where he talked as Ralph and put a couple effects on him. I won't go, go into the whole boring side of it, but uh, I, like Jake, researched how to do stuff like that because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that side of things. Uh, and I, it, it's based off of... Um, What's the what's the robot's name in the Avengers? Can't think of him off the top of my head. The big Ultron? bad guy. Ultron. It's based off of an Ultron hmm. setting that they use for the movie. So I essentially stole it, put it on Jake's. Oh and God, Ralph is Ultron? Essentially. The oh voice. Jesus. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, we need to be more careful around let's him. Let's be nicer to Ralph, <laughs> yeah. you guys. Yeah, he was kind of dicks to Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out he's the BBEG. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, Oops, did we spoil your whole? <laughs> oh man, you oh, guys no. just stole the whole puzzle. Okay. We found out who the big bad is. So guys. yeah, it's it's uh, done post post edit. So great. Yeah, I don't talk like that. Yeah. Post production, very, very easy. We easy actually have a real he robot just, here. He just talked through a fan. That's all it actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's the old Darth Vader <laughs> yeah. effect when you were a child. <laughs> okay, she said this one probably had been asked before, and it was, but we'll kind of just retouch on it uh, real quick. How did you all meet? Um, was it through someone else, or is just kind of tag along and then boom, we're friends? I unfortunately didn't have a choice. Yeah, I didn't. Meeting yeah. my siblings. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> So Jake and Joe and I are siblings, Brian, and then yeah. Brian. You kind of is... did have a choice, Brian. Not really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Brian was thrust upon the group. And then, how did you guys really become friends? Were you just like a? I, I moved in down the street for him, mm-hmm. uh, and for him, from him. Okay. Yes, words. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know anyone, and my mother 
pointed up the street and said, I think there's a little boy who lives up there. And I walked up and knocked on the door and oh, he said, knocked him out. I, was like, <laughs> well, I will take you now. You, you are my friend now. <laughs> Sounds and, like uh, something he would do. And I asked him uh, if he wanted to be friends. Like just, I was like, hey, do you want to be friends? And uh, he said, I guess. <laughs> and then I said, uh, what are you doing? Playing video games. And that was that. And, there we, and here we are. Uh, here we are 30 years later. He needed, so, to, he so needed somebody to school in Mario Kart. So. Nice. And Star Adorable. Fox. Yes. And Goldeneye. And then I met you two in middle really school. That's yeah. how we. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I threw a chair at you And then you school. threw a chair at me. And then I said to Matt, hey, why is your friend so crazy? And he's like, I don't know, but you want to be friends with us forever? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. that's how it worked. Okay. So uh, I think that was, oh, she's got one more. Um, what do you guys find to be the hardest thing to do when it comes to D&D, the podcast, or just everything in general, nerdy, nerdiness related? So it's yeah, like the on. hardest thing about the D and D and podcast, I guess we'll start with that. Unless you have life stuff scheduling. you want to talk about scheduling, probably scheduling, um, working social media. That's been, I'm sorry. What? <gasps> yeah. No, what? Shit. no, social media. Sh- no, social no, media. no, 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 Ben. No, 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 we're gonna we're gonna slow it down and have like little twinkle stars behind it when you say it. Can you just so every time he says media. social media, you just splice in when he said actual social <laughs> yes, media? Yes, oh, yes, 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 perfect. We have an occupant. Yes, I can. Thank you. Check us out on the social I'm, media. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have access to all our social media because I'm going to every day now post on there. Oh, good. In there saying social media. Buy all our fans. I will change all the passwords. Yeah, change you do all the fans. Do it now. Yeah, cool. I don't have to fuck with Change it off from from yeah. Schmied sixty nine to something else. Yes, because obviously that's what it was. Schmied sixty nine. Um, it's mean 69, 420. Oh, of course. Okay, yeah, so Jake, course. Jake says scheduling is his hardest. Scheduling. Hardest thing. Um, yeah, and then then working social media. Okay. Um, ben? Waking up and showing up on time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's about his schedule is probably for a season. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say that's probably our hardest issue, but like. Once we get going, we all get in the groove and we yeah. can. We, we have a really, Does really anyone good have anything like D and D related that's yeah, difficult for them? Okay, go so for it. mine, um, since I have a barbarian that doesn't have awesome spells, which we actually talked about this many times is trying to make my stuff. I do entertaining mm. at, rather than just walk up and hit somebody. So I'm trying to work on that. I hopefully you guys are seeing a little bit of an increase in entertainment as far as that goes, but that's my, that's my struggle. Is, I've sensed an increase in entertainment for yeah. sure. Yeah, I've, entertained. I've entertained. My hardest challenge is to remember that I have Milo. <laughs> 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 so, that's what I'm you just have an entourage of, that's of pets what I'm yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that's Brian? that's my thing. So yeah, I think just keeping track of the entire arc. I guess. Oh yeah. Oh that's, yeah. That's, that is I mean, really super easy. For you know, me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, really have to. Have to. you don't have much choice. <laughs> you know, it's Jake's like. So what were you guys Unless doing? Unless <laughs> I listened to the entire campaign from start to finish, from like just before we record, because we well, we get together what once a month. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Right. So it's you know. I hate having to ask every time. So what? The, what the f did we do? Yeah, where are we? <laughs> you know. Although I kind of like it because it makes it that much more enjoyable when I go back and listen to our stuff. Because I'm like, if only oh, you guys fuck, had like I a, about that. Yeah, hey, that I was so good. That last time, and you could write notes down. I think. Boo! Boo! I started writing Boo! notes, and you guys no made notes. fun of my note back. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I didn't have one. Yeah, I don't yeah. have my notes, guys. <laughs> my notes. Yeah, so yeah. I just like forget I have shit too, like the yeah. bifocals and all kinds of other stuff. But I remember yeah, them when it's giving important. you guys cool shit. Oh, yeah. I forgot about my sleeping bag. <laughs> your sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, your cool scented sleeping bag. Well, I, mean, I, I actually guess. don't have a minus to charisma. Darn it. And it yeah, that's that's the hardest thing. I have not forgotten about my lock pick. I just have not encountered any locked doors. Yeah, that's true. So, so I pick it when yeah. you can smash okay. it. <laughs> true. Um, that was all from Emerald. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. It's the best. Um, Jane didn't send a question because she doesn't know how to follow directions, but <laughs> yeah, she said, yeah, thanks amazing. for bringing joy to these old, weary ear holes of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're welcome. You're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome, Jane. Jane. Yeah. I, um, I don't, I honestly don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> yes. Happy? And then we got, Happy? yeah, grateful. We got one more from, I don't know how to say this cool ass butcher. name. Come on, DM. No, but it's so cool. Zotiria Hycern. I mean, it sounds that cool. Sounds, that sounds, I mean, sounds it's like the coolest cool, name. Sounds um, cool. Way to say it. Yeah. From the website. So they said, uh, or they asked, what advice and or insight would you give to other D&D players thinking about similarly recording sessions to put on YouTube or don't. wherever? Yeah. Don't. don't, don't, don't it's so it'll hard. It'll never be as good as us. <laughs> don't so do don't it. even try. 
Don't try no, to compete. Uh, with don't release on Monday mornings. That's all we ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just have, <laughs> have fun with it. Yeah. 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 Don't like it, it's so intimidating when you first start going from like just a normal tabletop to yeah, a took, mic in your face and going like, oh god, people are going to listen to this. What are they going to say about me? Once you get over that, it's 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 like it's not even there, and just have fun. Yeah, it took a long time to not be nervous with yeah. the mics in our face. Like we me, were so I'm comfortable like and in. silly. And then like as soon as the mics in, like just clam up. Me and Joe over here in the corner were just like drinking <laughs> as much as we could to like loosen up and get like. <laughs> I'll get back funny, to but that. they won't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll get funny, and then, <laughs> and then I'll get real upset when they're not laughing at my jokes. <laughs> yes. Or tell me I can't do B sense. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so every time I would Every say, time. yeah, my advi- our advice would be just have fun. It's not going to be perfect. It's not. Yeah. Gonna it's be not going to be perfect as much as and I. I yeah. m- me probably more than anybody sitting at this table. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to anything that I do, um, especially when it comes to anything art wise. And I, I do consider this an art of, oh, of yeah. for oh, all that we yeah. do. It's not going to be perfect, and that is something that I bet I struggle with all the time, knowing that it's going to be put out there for people to hear. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, forever. And I want it to grow and I want more people to hear it. And I know that that we still have growth. I know that we still have things to accomplish. Oh, yeah. But that also what is what drives me because I'm really competitive. Yeah. So I want to be good. I want to get better. I want to be the best one day. And um All right, you have easy. to you have to take that first <laughs> step yeah. in order to get there. And you just have to take that first step. Yeah. And just keep going forward. Yeah. So that's that's kind of my Enjoy advice. the process. Enjoy of, the process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's and that's what makes it fun, not yeah. just for people to listen to, but also for yourself. If you're not having fun doing it, no one's it's not going to be fun to listen to. to. It's, it's not going to be fun to listen to. It's a lot of work. And also more importantly, then why are you doing it? Yeah. yeah. Because like life's short. Have, enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. Life's short. Play yeah, D&D. And you're definitely not going to make money doing <laughs> that it. That should be our slogan. So, life's I, short. Play D&D. Am I right? <laughs> and then beer. Just, life's a short no, risk. Play D&D. No, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. All right. <laughs> anyway. Cut that out. <laughs> I would say co- communicate with each other Ben's too. Ben's trying is, to try out as a life coach here. Yeah. Like communication is a big thing, like teamwork and like working together. We've learned a lot about each other in this process of like how to like work as a team and delegate and get through hard parts or disagreements and like more or than Google podcasts. Oh, Google podcast. It's back up, by the way, if anyone's listening and cares. Yay. <laughs> Yay. But, well, they're probably listening on Google podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're listening on Google podcast, like, yeah, well, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So. And that's a big oh, part and too. Who was, who was it that figured that out for us? Yeah, we oh, need to make sure right. that person yeah, is given all the love. James I know you had it. Sorry that I said who was that person instead of his name because I know who it no, is. No, no, that's oh, all no, right. Let me give him at least you rem- at least yeah. you remember. I know, his, I know his first name is James. James. James, James King. James Cridland. Most close to the K. At He's least. from the UK, <laughs> and he his site is called uh, PodNews.net, and he was the only person that helped me <laughs> in the whole World Wide Web. I emailed him on a whim and was like, hey, you're the only one who knows about RSS feeds. Can you help? Google won't post, Literally put Literally the us only on. one. Nobody else the, on the planet knows about RSS feeds. No one else knew how to <laughs> help me. The people that made it were like, yeah, we don't so, know what we're doing. Thank you, man. He, that was awesome, on our man. behalf, reached out to Google and to Podbean and they got it solved. And so just thank you so much. And if you are looking for a great podcast resource, check out podnews.net because it has everything. It's like a whole like database for every podcast, where they're at, all things about the podcast. It's like the wiki page for podcasts, basically. Like it's really informative lots of articles go show him support thanks That's james it. thanks right. james. Thank, thank, really honestly thank you he's probably not listening but yeah. thank you anyway it's okay <laughs> i will tell him we said this so yeah uh, That's, uh more questions maybe um so it, does anyone else have anything about the challenge ben i don't think you really got to touch on it does, did you have anything no, to add I, about I, that question I, scheduling he said scheduling scheduling, I said okay. scheduling okay. and then we talked about uh um do you already forget <laughs> no what, what about life is short play D. yeah, yeah life is short, well actually D&D. that was that was joe yeah, so that that was all of our questions. So, does anybody else have any? We went go out through all questions, questions nice. for all the groups. That was oh, is that, that that's was all it. the questions. That was all the questions. Oh, okay. thanks okay. everybody any... who submitted. That was really really sweet. Uh, well, yeah. Didn't you want to talk about? Oh yeah, some uh, stuff? what was what was your guys' uh, I'm curious as the DM. What was like some of your maybe just one or two or one? Can I can I go first so nobody steals it before I say it? Uh, no, yeah, what's your first. favorite? Okay, cool. Uh, so moments. I'm first. Or your or your most hated moments? Uh, so oh, don't do that again. Oh, you sprung this one on me. You gave me time to think about the first one. Okay, yeah. so my favorite moments, um, which I don't want to might be a little moments. cliche, I guess, but I really liked the bear enema scene. That was that was a lot of fun. That whole the whole thing, that whole aspect of that. Oh, and the then, pine corn suppository. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. The acorn or whatever. Um, and then the going back to the the spa with the That's reggae. What I was going to say that, reggae that on the river. Uh, mm-hmm. So that was that was a lot of fun. Um, what I hated was everything else. Everything else. Yeah. <laughs> like literally the rest of the army, all the cool. boring. Sh- no, everything. Honestly, I didn't really hate anything. I think. Um, was there any was, was there any improvements? 
I think, well, I think we've improved a lot on our combat. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I've, we, I've, we were dragging some of that stuff out a little bit, so we've improved in that, but yeah. Are you swirling that for a reason? Because I want to go. Is this like the music when I'm queuing to watch? Yeah, playing you I just want to keep you guys. I'm going to go Tom Hanks on you guys right now. Bear Enema was not a plan that I would. Pause door. Whatever. <laughs> was not something that I was thinking that was going to happen. It was supposed to get shoved in its heart. Yeah, no, we wanted oh, to we, put we, it. We, 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 we got out to the heart. We're aware. Yeah, yeah. No, the we, thing Oral is, has you didn't very say long we had to get to the heart. Then. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the butt is a scene to grab to the heart. Yeah, yeah. we've established <laughs> that's this. That's what we wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we just want to throw that out there to anyone else. That was not my idea. <laughs> Jake actually us. paused it and told us, "Okay, this is what I want you guys to do." Yeah, guys, make fight me about the butt thing. Yeah, really argue hard. Really want it in this butt. Really into like birthing cow videos and stuff. I don't know. I'm a butt guy. Ew. Okay, can I go next? Jake's goal. I was to pull a cat. Because mine's, mine's adjacent, so I'm going to go next. Okay, sure. Brian, what do you think? No, yeah. wait. <laughs> no, not Brian. Okay, Ben. <laughs> this is just how wait, it is. Back to me. Go, go, hurry. Okay, my favorite and least favorite part is the exact same part. It is the bear part because I had so much fun and that battle was awesome and I think I did the coolest thing I've ever done, but then it was so bad because it was not the one thing I was supposed to do and yeah. I lost my cool stuff for it. So I'm real mad about that, but it was really nice because I got to like, I felt like I actually did something useful in that one. So I, I really liked that. And the yeah, whole, that's, that's the remembering thing. Stuff. No, but like the, just the, the, the whole scene in general was just really fun. Cause it was like, it was dire. Like we had players down that weren't normally down. We had death saves. Like it was just like, it really felt death like, save. like a huge, <laughs> <laughs> did I say it weird? You said death save. Death <laughs> save. We had death saves. We had like death saves. Like See, that's, that's a remembering thing. Like I, I had forgotten that it was supposed to be you to what? plant the acorn. I, I totally forgot. Well, at the moment, oh, it was, it was like everyone's going to die. So. Yeah. What? Um, Sorry, Jake just. Boop, 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 Jake just sent me. <laughs> is, that, is that like the. Boop, 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 boop. Breaking okay, news. breaking news. Jake just handed me his phone because I missed some questions. So I'm going to just. <laughs> Wait, those go, hey, hey, Questium, you kind of already suck. Hey, you forget stuff all the time when you like forget no, an NPC character's name or their <clears throat> question. Anyway, <laughs> so Mr. Hodgepodge, thank you on Instagram, had a few questions for us. So the first one I'm going to start with is for Ben. Uh, Katan. Go. All right, so, go get a cup of coffee. Here we so go. go settle in, everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm so ready for this. What, will you, <laughs> what will you do when you finally have 1v1 with your sister Mithra? Murder will you her. take the honorable no. route? <laughs> will she best you by using your love against her? Against you, uh, would you disavow as a paladin to save your sister? Okay, first of all, spoiler alert, right? About what you're going to do? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Also, Can none you of us know that that's your sister still. Yeah, well, because here's the thing. So Katan is not 1,000% certain that's his sister yet because... <laughs> 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 because she died and I buried her. She ain't buried no more. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah. You do though, because like <laughs> she was standing in front of you. I saw somebody with a half burned face that looked oh like her. Okay. Okay. So That's do right. you have who any... I know is dead? I buried her. So and I looked at you and said, brother. Yeah. So no, so she didn't. Any, sorry. She said, so, I'm Mithra Katan. No, she didn't say any of that. <laughs> but so you anyway, heard her theme song. And, and that's her theme song. And there was a little yeah. <laughs> there was I had the, a bunch of flashbacks oh about her, and then I heard a theme song, and then she showed up. I don't know yeah. if it's her. I can't connect these dots. So so I played this out so far that Katan is somewhere in between denial and disbelief. He's just like, that can't possibly be true because she's dead, and she's dead of like 10 years ago. So um what what's he gonna do? I don't know. That comes down to how Jake writes this because if he gives me a scenario where, uh, you know, I have those choices, I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 just I have considered all of those things in my head, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. Okay, I like that. That's exciting. Okay, uh, Jake, where do you get your motivation for your campaigns and settings? Do you have any tools that help you, or is it just off the top of your head? Um, man, inspiration, video games, books, um, all the really creepy dark stuff, the Witcher games, uh, books, um, you said books twice. Yeah. Books, books, books. Yeah. We know you can read. Uh, yeah, okay. barely. Well, can you? <laughs> he's, he's, he's making Blood a hard yeah. <laughs> I read, All the I, books that I can read like with proficiency. Uh, <laughs> real, real yeah. good, real good. Picture books. I actually just have, I just locked someone in my house and they just read them to me. Um, no, I just kind of, I get, I get inspiration from from anything like sometimes I'll listen to a podcast I'm like oh that's really cool and I'll write something down and, and kind of try to meld it into my own thing um, so just wherever wherever I can get it um, 
but a lot of it is also from like my own head too. Um, and then what was the, what, there was there was another part in that? What tools do I use? Yeah, how many tools that you use? Um, not a lot. I try to use a bunch of different like crazy tools, and that found out to be just a lot more work that I was giving myself. Um, so really, the only tool I use is OneNote, um, which is really awesome for just keeping track of everything, or Evernote. Uh, any of those kind of like note taking um, cloud based systems where I can put everything into. I started uh, going back to paper a, a bit, but I enter all those notes into my one note and I have like like my entire campaign planned out and then I write it on a paper and I take it to there. Ooh, you guys know we need to do, right? Hack is one note. We gotta hack that one you note. Hack that yeah. note. <laughs> oh my God, we gotta hack that note. You'll never guess the password. <laughs> What's that? You never it, guess my password. We already know what it is. Yeah, it's Shmi's 69420. That or Sven 6960. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a couple quick ones after that. So can we expect to see any new PCs um, on the pod in the upcoming arcs? Piece, like like player characters. Player mm. characters? That's what I'm assuming he's referencing. Only if you kill us because oh, no short, one is allowed in here. Even short term ones, he says. Like, are we um, having... If, I, if we ever can figure out how to run a six person This table's guest, pretty full. Yeah, it's 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 right now we don't really have any room for We're guests. working on it though. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll we, we definitely we want are, we, we, we want people to come on as guests. Definitely. Um, it's something that we definitely are going to experiment with. Mm -hmm. uh, we just have to figure out the logistics of it. Yeah. But as soon as we do, we definitely will have people yep. on. Yep. And then uh, on a side note, will there be more character specific quests like the one Leaf, aka Chris Tastics, fumbled on? Oops. Oops. Um, yeah, that's me. Wait, maybe. You fumbled? I can't really yeah, say that up. without like. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, no, maybe. So? I okay. like that. Okay. <laughs> Leave it ambiguous. Yeah. The one I messed up. The bear. <laughs> the bear. Yeah. I, didn't I, okay. didn't, I didn't hear the first part. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so that I think does it. Thank you, Mr. Hodgepodge. Make sure yes, we, thank you. we wanted to get those in. Um, anybody else have anything? Oh, the uh, favorite stuff. We're talking oh, about yeah. favorite stuff. Yeah. Do we do back, any more favorite back stuff? To, with our great DM. Uh, my Pacey. least favorite, if I'm being honest, was the bridge about the yeah. vines that was just a slog to get through. Yeah. Um, we, 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 at the table, it was fun. And then after I went back and listened to it, I realized it was 50 minutes of trying to just cross like a bridge. And I went, hmm. We need it because we, we, we try to do everything with you guys, uh, the listeners in mind of what is interesting to listen to, um, because the dynamic between listening and playing at a table is vastly different. Yeah. Right. Um, so we always try to keep things moving and entertaining. And that was one thing, um, not, not so much least favorite as playing, but it was least favorite of my job as the editor of having to cut out parts and still make it this continuous thing about yeah, working having on, it be working continuity. On skill challenges has definitely been a challenge of mine. To make something to where it's not just, hey, we're going to combat. Hey, we're going in combat. Having something like, oh, I have to cross this dangerous bridge, but keeping it concise and fun still yeah. is definitely been a... You said dangered bitch. Just yeah. Brian yeah. was giving me the eye. Yeah. I, 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 I noticed it too. I was yeah. waiting. <laughs> Sorry, I, had, I, I can't. Mean, you, you said it. It was like... You said it and now it's out there for everyone to hear. <laughs> yep. Danger you said bitch. bitch. Danger bitch. bitch. It's not oh. a big deal. I just have to say yeah. something. Oh, okay. well, <laughs> It's, a, it's also a danger bitch. Uh, it's a danger bitch, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then my favorite part, though, uh, is kind of a more all-encompassing thing, is how you changed the entire world based on our decisions that we made at the end of the arc. Yes. Uh, like, yeah. I, I love how you that weren't really afraid cool. to not just pigeonhole this power that was clearly supposed to be for Leaf. <sighs> you gave it to the person who did the act, and it had that effect on him. Um, and I like that you just decided to do that and didn't didn't try to make well it was supposed to be for her and so the power uh, you just no you were supposed to do it you Took didn't he did he got it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah it I, sat there for, I sat there and I'm like I don't know what to do do I just kill them all do I turn them all into trees is this where the podcast ends <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for not doing that yes. Yes. that would have been my least favorite part <laughs> yeah. Yeah. episode one you're all trees the end <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, you're just what I like <laughs> I like how you changed the entire world based off of our actions. Yeah. And I think that is a sign of a good DM. And I think it's a sign of a good. Very adaptable. I yes. Like that. It's a sign of a good story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a sign of a good story. I think. Yeah. Ben. ben? Everyone's staring at me now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, geez. Um, what did I like the least? I like how Any, you start off with that. Anytime <laughs> I'm not talking. <laughs> yeah. Let me hold yeah. Let me pause for two minutes. No, honestly, I, 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 you know what? I really don't know what to tell you guys because I really enjoy coming out and doing this. Um, oh. And so sweet. I, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I do, I do. This is, uh, this is something I really look forward to. Um, 
I, I really don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I really don't have an answer to give you. Okay, guys so right your now. favorite moment. You should be sorry. <laughs> no, I. Uh, you let us down. Yeah, yeah I mean, my least, least favorite, favorite part is that you didn't have a least favorite part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Were you going to say that? No, you said favorite part, though. <laughs> <laughs> far-vit far-vit. Far-vit. Well, it's really cold in here, so we're all... <laughs> Did I really? I don't even notice it. <laughs> Did you notice it, though? Because you were looking at it. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't notice it that time. <laughs> My least favorite part. There, I did it. Um, no, I'm just doing it because everyone expects me to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite. Some of my favorite parts. I mean, God, it's. I, I hate. I hate being this uh, egotistical, but it's. It's are all parts that involve me, and I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm hey, embarrassed. You know what, though? We we know that already. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I don't. It's I, not a shock. You can lie. No, no. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, oh, God, the the whole uh, uh, Chad thing with the acorns. I mean, yes. that's hilarious. Chads were great. And I I I I just adore. I mean, Matt's interactions with Bob in episode one. I mean, these are all wonderful parts. But whenever I have to think about what's you know why what I like the most, it's like situations where I'm pulling off performance checks and spinning top hats, mostly because in real life I cannot dance. No. Um, or when I'm ripping the heads off of uh, necromancers. So, uh, yeah, I like me. I mean, <laughs> I like cool. me. The most honest answer <laughs> of all. Yeah, I'm a paladin, and I'm pretty fucking great. Moving on. <laughs> right. Well, I think on that note. On that Brian, note, did, did Brian go? Uh, oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry. I did. Oh, um, yeah, I think I've got super cool powers now. So that was pretty awesome. Great. I didn't really have a least favorite part. I thought that. The whole arc was a lot of fun and just enjoyable to do. So I, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. I like okay. So part. on that on note. On that note. Oh, you, do you want to answer your own question? No, I just, I, I just, I really, I, I had a lot of fun with the Chad part. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. The Chads were that great. Was that was fun. Chad. Chad. Yeah. Chad. I think that the, the, the voice mod, like the slight one I put on there really like. <laughs> oh yeah. Drove yeah. it home. I you really, know? Oh, that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Like I can when it, when I hear that voice, I can hear the ch- I can see the chat in my head. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I can feel their like hulking the heftiness. The hey. hulking heftiness. Yeah, I'm Chad, and I guess you're my dad. <laughs> you're my dad. <laughs> so good. It's so fun. All right. Well, well thank you guys, everyone, thank you for guys. listening. Yes, thank you. We appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, thank you for the questions. We appreciate Arc it. Three. Yeah, we, we're giving you a little bit of a break this week so you can catch up on some of the other mm-hmm. episodes if you haven't. Um, I know uh, there are a few people who hadn't listened to the spooky one shot that we did because it is a longer one. So that's a week you can check up on that as well. That was yes. a lot of fun. Yep. Um, and we start arc three next week. Yes. Woo! So get ready for it. Get ready for it. You guys, thank you again for the questions. Um, be thinking of the next arcs questions as we go through this arc or if there were any questions that you can think of for this. Yeah, arc if we that missed we, anything, we missed anything. Sorry. We, we, we tried to get them all from all the different sides. Um, but I think we, I think we got them all. Even the last minute, boop a doop a doop. Boop a doop a doop. Breaking news. Got them. Hot and, charge one. And on yeah. a quick side note, mm-hmm. uh, we have mugs now on foundfamiliar.com. We do have mugs. So like go and buy those because they do kind of like help support us a little bit. Yes. So go and do that. Buy and coffee we'll, from them. We're thinking about some new merch stuff too that might be coming down the pipeline. Yes. So maybe make some sure Patreon stuff. So you're subscribed us. to our stuff so you get those updates. Yeah. At, at New Crits for Twitter. At New Crits on the Block for Instagram mm-hmm. and uh, I guess just New Crits on the Block for Facebook. I don't know. The- you can sign up for the email list we send out every week. Our website, newcritsontheblock.com. Yep. And then uh, we love you guys. Love you. Thanks everyone for listening. We appreciate Alrighty. it. Alrighty. I'm, 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 I'm going to do the outro. Okay. Oh, very good. I actually don't know how it goes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty close. All right. Bye, guys. What's up, everyone? It is your unquestioned favorite player, Matt, here. Just want to stop by real quick to say thank you so much for listening thus far. And we wrapped up another arc in the books. Thank you for all the questions that you guys all submitted. We super appreciate it. Now, if there's one thing you could do for us, it is to follow us on all of our social medias, not schmeeds or social meds. Don't care what Jake says. You can find us on Instagram at New Crits on the Block. And you can find us on Twitter at New Crits and Facebook. Just search for New Crits on the block. And the other way you guys can super, super help us is by tagging us in any of those posts to a friend of yours. Help us spread the word. We are trying to grow this podcast week by week, and we need you guys to do that for us. So please help us out. Spread the word. The other thing you can do to help us out is by rating and reviewing us on either iTunes, Google Podcast, 
Spotify, whatever you use. If you can rate and review us, it goes a long way to show people that, hey, we kind of sort of know what we're doing and we're kind of sort of good at it. So help us show people that we are super, super dope. We are so excited for what we have in store for you guys for ARC 3. We hope you're excited as well. We will see you next week. Go follow us. Go rate us. Go review us. Go subscribe to us. Go right now. Go right now. The episode's about to be over in, in five seconds. Five seconds. Go do it. Three, two, go do